What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tint a Tesla Model Y with GeoShield Nano Ceramic 50% tint. I'm just using a snuggle dryer sheet and then I'm just going to spray it with my tint keg. And then basically I'm just going to wipe up and down and get a good dryer sheet film on the window. So just make sure you get good overall coverage on your window. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of slide the dryer sheet all across the window to get the film on there. You can cut it off the roller or you can take the roll off and put it directly on the windshield. All right, so now that I've got kind of my H pattern, so both ends and then a line packed across the middle, I'm gonna start the shrinking process. I'm just using a cheap Wagner heat gun uh, for it. All right, so instead of boring you to death and watching like 15 minutes of me shrinking a windshield, uh, I just sped it up and I'll talk through the process here. So when you make that H pattern, you'll have four corners of your windshield tint and your fingers are going to be going vertically. When you apply heat to those fingers, they're going to switch from vertical to horizontal. Once they're horizontal, you can kind of cart them up and uh, lay the film flat on the glass. But don't go too fast, because that's how you can cause a crease. Uh, you know, professional film studios are gonna go really fast because they've done, you know, probably thousands of windshields. Uh, I like to go slow, take my time. I didn't want to have any defects or issues with the film. Um, so that's probably why it's taking me longer. Uh, I'm just taking my time here. Want to make sure it's good. This is my wife's car. Uh, I don't want any issues, because last thing I want to do is pull it off and scrape glue off the windshield. So. That's what I'm doing there, so I'm going corner by corner, shrinking the film, uh, paying special attention to the corners. If the corners lift up, what I do is kind of lay it back down and uh, make sure that finger, you know, I roll that finger from horizontal back to vertical so I can shrink it. You don't want to work yourself into a corner when you're shrinking a windshield. Uh, shrinking the windshield is going to be the hardest part of window tinting. If you can get the shrinking down, you're pretty much golden. Cutting it's relatively easy and sticking it on the uh, inside of the windshield is pretty easy too, but uh, shrinking is absolutely the hardest part. Don't feel bad. I probably went through 75 feet of film before I figured out this process. All right, now that I've shrunk the windshield film, I'm going to do my final cut. Uh, one mistake that, I, that I've made a few times in the past is I cut too much material past the uh, black border of the windshield. Try to get really close to that black border. Um, some windshields you're going to have more leeway, but uh, that was kind of one of the issues I had when I first started out. Now I kind of cut maybe an eighth of an inch, um, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch extra past the border of the windshield. But if you're at like a quarter inch or, lo or longer than that, um, you're going to have issues, uh, especially around your camera or, you know, rear view mirror. Now that the uh, film is cut, I'm going to go run with the heat gun one last time and just make sure I don't get any fingers when I'm installing it. So let's go around the edges, make sure nothing pops up on me. This step's really important because it's going to save you time. Last thing you want to be doing is sticking it on the inside of the window and then you have a bunch of fingers that won't go down. So this step is very vital to having a successful installation. Now that the film is shrunk, it's finally cut. I'm going to reverse roll it. So I'm going to peel the liner off. And try to make sure that the outside of the liner doesn't lay down on the inside. Uh, there's going to be dust and stuff. You don't want that to stick to the adhesive on your window film. And then also roll it really tight. That way you don't get creases. I'm going to spray the windshield real good. Make sure there's no contaminants. I like to pull back on the dash towel just a little bit. That ensures that your tin adhesive is not going to pick up any lint or fibers from the towel. Uh, I didn't want to take any chances here. Uh, it's a whole process to shrink the film and do all that. Last thing you want to do is put this all on and have a piece of lint. Uh, and then make sure you kind of spread it out with your hands. If you have any large fingers, you don't want to just shovel over those with the squeegee. Get it the best you can. And then once you get all of the big fingers out, then you can start squeegeeing. I work from the middle and go towards the outside. 
This is an inside look from the windshield. This is 50% nano ceramic tint right here. So it's basically clear. A few smudges, no big deal. That's 20% right there, so slightly darker. And the rear is 5%. So you can see through them all pretty well. Um, I didn't want to go much darker than 50% on the windshield so you can actually see what you're doing at nighttime, but it's pretty clear for the most part. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content that involves wrapping, windshield tinting, or washing, give me a subscribe so you can see future content. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.